once again welcome guys so welcome to our Django rest framework tutorial series so in this previous video we have learned how to create api's for user registration login logout okay so in this video we will be learning change password and reset password api's using Django rest framework okay so this is the continuation of our Django rest framework tutorial series so now we will be creating a change password api using django rest framework so we have already created a app called accounts so inside that app we will be pasting this code inside the your serializers.py so in here we will be pasting that code okay so basically this is a serializer for our change password api now we will be pasting this code and inside the views.py okay this is the change password view or change password api and in the view in the and in the urls.py we will be pasting this code so in here what we'll do we'll paste the code and we'll import the change password view done guys we are done so now we can test it using postman or as well as browsable api django rest frame so i have already created a change password api where i have given uh, authorization so let's see we will be first logging and will send the password okay and username now we'll copy this token okay now we'll use this change password in headers we will be typing authorization and in here token as we are using token based authorization and the token okay and now in body we will be sending old password field and new password field if you see the serializer.py change password you will find two fields so we will be using that same and we will be sending the password so let's say small p and send so this is giving a status as success and the password updated successfully message so this is how you can create a change password api using django rest framework now it's time to create reset password api using django rest framework so for creating the reset password api we need to install one library so this is the library django rest password reset so we'll first close the server then we'll install this library now once the library has been installed we need to add it to our installed apps so we'll go to the settings.py file and in here we'll paste this code now we will be need to migrate because the reset password has some migrations okay so we are done now in the urls.py file we need to add these path so in here accounts app in urls.py we will be pasting this path so make sure that include is added here done okay so now we are done now the thing is that this library has some signals so it is having a signal reset password token created which will be received in our models.py file so what we'll do we'll receive this password and we will be creating a plain text where our token the reset password token will be there and we will be sending it in our email so we'll copy this file code and in models.py file we will be pasting it here okay then 
For now, I'm not using any email services. That's why we need to add this email backend, which will be printing our emails in terminal. So in settings.py file, at the end of the file, we can add this code. Okay, so done. Now we are done. So I have also created one tutorial where how to send email in Django. So you can go to this link also. I have also created the video tutorial on, on it. So now what we'll do, we'll go to this API slash password reset. You can go through the postman also as well as the browser also. So what we'll do, we'll go to the password reset and in here to the password. Now, if you add admin at the rate bot.com, so this is the password which we have created and will post it. So this win is using post method. So if you see here in our terminal, we find a token, a token URL, a password reset token URL. So what we'll do, we'll copy this token. Now in the postman, we'll go to the password reset confirm. We have already created this URL request. So in here, we will be giving it as post and in here, check this one and here we need to give the token. So what we'll do, I'll delete these things. So it will be token and the token, which, which we have copied it from here. Okay, then the password, the password which we need to be changed, the new password. So we'll give it as password at the rate one, two, three. So if you see previously, we were having P small and we'll send it. Okay, we got a status that okay. So our password has been created. If you see login, okay. So our password is being this, okay. If I change this one to small p, it will give me error and you will to login. So this is how reset password and change password you can create APIs using Django REST framework. Thank you guys. If you like my video, please give a like, thumbs up, comment below and motivate me so that I can create such videos, such content for you. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.